playing the Barbie Dreamhouse Adventures app and I saw this tree swing. And I thought, I need this in my doll backyard. So let's try to make one. Now where should we build our tree swing? Well, we can't build it on the patio. And I like having this open area. So we're just gonna have to make an extension that'll go in between the two rooms. Cut two pieces of foam board, one for the back wall and one for the floor. Cover the floor with brown scrapbook paper, finely cut yarn and glue it onto the paper, leaving a circle in the center for the tree. If you find that your foam board is starting to bow, flip it over, use a glue stick to glue white paper to the other side, flip it back over and use weights to hold it down. Then let it sit to completely dry. For the back wall, I glue blue paper across the top. Take giant craft sticks. You can find these at Walmart. Cut off one end, glue them onto the foam board. Take more giant craft sticks, cut both ends, glue it across the top to make a fence. I have a little bit of space left on the side, but that's okay, we can cover it with greenery later. Now that we have the fence and the ground, let's glue them together. I left a one inch space in the back so we could glue the foam board directly to the ground. Cut a one inch strip of foam board, glue a brick scrapbook paper to the bottom, glue it on the edge of the grass to make an extension for our backyard. My blues don't exactly match, so we have to find a way to distract the eye. I took a little walk outside to gather sticks that I can use to be trees in the yard. Make sure to wash them outside before bringing them into the house. First, let's patch the fence with extra craft sticks, using small pieces to cover the gaps. Measure the sticks from outside, cut or break them, to the height of the walls. Glue it right on the edge to cover the seam. Repeat on the other side to make it look like we have two trees growing near the fence. Cut artificial plants, glue them into the bottom so the shrubs match going all the way across. For our tree swing, I found a stick with a branch going out to the side. I cut it to 13 inches, glue it onto the paper in the middle of the yard. Fallen branches are perfect for doll backyards. You get a super realistic look in no time at all. But we need to anchor this tree to the back wall to make sure it is secure to handle the doll's weight. So I take smaller twigs and glue them from the top of our tree to the back wall. I have two support branches, glue artificial plants to the top branches, to give the trees leaves. Creating a little tree canopy. Take leftover shredded yarn and a little glue, then fill in the rest of the grass. Allow it to dry. Looking at our inspiration photo, we could use a few rocks at the bottom. So we borrowed from Mother Nature again and place a large rock from the garden at the bottom of the tree. The swing from the video game is made with wood and rope, but we're gonna use chain instead of rope. I have an old necklace that I wouldn't mind donating to the project. I had keychains left over from our Claire's Hall video. They have a screw at the bottom. Take all the pieces apart, take the screw, twist it into the overhanging branch on the tree. Repeat to make two, open jump rings, Place the chain on the jump ring, hook the jump ring onto the tree, and close it. Cut the chain so the bottoms are even. Divide the remaining chain into two equal pieces. Place a jump ring in the center. I take a leftover piece of the jumbo craft stick and sand the edges smooth. Cut a popsicle stick to the length of the sides. Glue jump rings onto the sides of the giant craft stick so that half is sticking out. Glue the popsicle sticks on top, locking the jump rings on the inside. Turn it over. Use jump rings to attach the end of the chain. Repeat on the other side. Take the jump rings at the center of the chains and attach them to the chains on the tree to complete our tree swing. 
that our dolls can sit on and swing. I use leftover greenery, add flowers to the flower bed, along with the lattice we made in our doll backyard video. The greenery really helps to hide the imperfections and complete our Barbie Dreamhouse Adventures inspired tree swing. It's not an exact match, but that is the joy of crafting. You can make things to fit your style. Our backyard is pretty large. It is now 42 inches long. But since everything is divided into different pieces, we can easily store them on a bookshelf. And we have the option to expand our yard to make it even larger. Thank you for joining us while we made our doll tree swing. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff and the frog vlog and you're done happy crafting we want to give a shout out to Kimmy Q something. What's up? Whoa, where did this come from? I've always wanted a tree swing. You know, that's what I love about the Dollyverse. You want something and then it just magically appears out of thin air.